um, originally the packs of um, uh, leather would come in and that would go right up to the top floor under that glass roof and um, they would go to this side of the glass roof the, the part of the old factory and because the light was right there and one particular place faced north so they could keep the see the exact colours much better than you know you, you couldn't have any any place with the sun coming in and um, that, that would go up and the um, uh, the foreman of that particular area he would sort out the leather and sort the colours out and put it with the order forms so that they he had a running colour scheme right through and he knew exactly how much leather would needed for it a pair of gloves and that's what we would do that. that would be passed on to the cutters the cutters then would dampen them and put them into their hot box as they called it they had a, a box with all bits of leather and chamois which was damp and they would put this leather in there so that it would be pliable and that, when it had got the right texture they would um uh, pull it into shape and they pulled it so that the leather would stretch one way but not the other because if you had a pair of gloves that stretched across that way they soon would get out of shape but they'd only stretch that way so that you could bend your knee, your, your um, fingers and that and they would um, cut it uh, um, into tranks um, when they'd got it and sort it all out and the forges and that they'd cut all the pieces out ready and um, then they would go into the next room where they would all be numbered so that where the, the two tranks that were together would have the same number and the four jets so that all the colour scheme was right. And um, then they would get separated then because they had the numbers to go back and they would, the tranks would be cut into with the fingers, you know, all that. And the, um, the all the little bits and pieces, they were all numbered and and um, sized as well at the same time because once it parted you wouldn't know where they were seven and a half or a six and a half so they would do that then it would go down into the next room and um, that was the first room where and that was where there were the glass well the glass was up in the men, men's place but the glass all the way around into the machine shop and then they, would, they would do the pointing and then they would do the thumbing and then it would be passed on to someone else to do making up the glove itself. But before that, the, um, the these um, points, all that had to be, all the points had to be end tied. So that went out to the end tied and to come back again. And then when they were made, they went down into the um, ironing room and they had tall irons and all different sizes. And the girls would put them on these irons and smooth them out and put them in pairs and then they would be examined to see they were I mean all the way through they'd be examined each you know each different part to see that it was all right and if they weren't right they'd go back to the person who was done them you know to make, put them right and then they would um, when they got down the finishing room they would still examine them again and they would um, tack them together and then put them in bags and then in boxes <laughs> Thank you.